Want to know how I got all this text on this shirt, sublimation style? Hint, hint. Tune in. What's up, everybody? Good morning. Alan Wade here. And today we're going to be printing out our very, very first design on our Sawgrass SG-1000. Got some people in the comments that I've seen lately saying that I have the SG-1000 and it doesn't seem like the images are coming out as vibrant as they did on the SG-500. I don't understand why that might be. To me, they're the same exact machine, except um, the SG-1000 has a few different features on the tray portion, and obviously it can print out larger designs. So we're gonna get into that, but first we're gonna roll the intro. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 boom. just like that. Eight, 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 uh, productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. You ready? Wait a minute. So we've already created our design in Photoshop and we're gonna bring it into Creative Studio. So yours might look something like this. You wanna go to Creative Studio right here and you want to select the paper size that you're gonna be using. Uh, press Start Creating. And then I have mine on the favorites and we're gonna be using size A3 in portrait mode, 13 by 19. That's the largest size that our SG-500, I mean our SG-1000, sorry, can take, all right? We, we set up our bypass tray in the last video of the SG-1000 and everything, so everything should be functional and ready to go. Um, our SG-1000 uh, is turned on and we have already launched Print Manager in the background of our uh, computer right here. So we're just gonna click on 13 by 19 portrait mode. It's gonna load that paper up. Then we're gonna go over here to galleries and then we're gonna click on my images, our images right here and there's the image that we're gonna be printing. Just click on that once and it brings it into the, um, the uh, workspace, if you will. So you see right here we have some bleeding edges right here. So we're gonna shrink it down just a little bit. We can scale it like here, but I'm just gonna use the grab handle right here and just click, hold and drag down just a little bit. All right, now I see everything is in there. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it so that it's in the, the exact center, all right? All right, guys, so uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's nothing else that needs to be done. See, our design is 12.33 uh, times 18.02 inches, all right? So now we're just going to press print. And let's see. Sawgrass, we select the sawgrass that's online, SG-1000 online. We just go ahead and click that one right there. And for tray, of course, we're gonna pick our bypass tray because that's the one we're using, not tray one, not tray two. We have our bypass tray attached to the SG-1000, so we just click bypass tray. And we're just, uh, printing on A3 paper. I don't know why it says A3 Super B, but yeah, A3. Just click that. We're going to be sublimating onto polyester, onto shirts here. I'm just going to click text print R, what we've always been doing, even though this paper that we got from Heat Trans Warehouse, by the way, if you're in the market to buy a SG-1000, SG-500, or any sublimation products like your inks or anything like that, use my Heat Trans Warehouse link in the description down below to purchase yours today. They help us out a lot. We got to help them out a lot and patronize, all right? If you're searching for vinyl, um, sublimation blanks like tumblers and things like that, Heat Transfer Warehouse is where it's at, and that's where all my products come from. So if yours isn't coming out the way mine is, it could be because you got it from somewhere else. All right, text print R. We're going to use that uh, standard uh, that we've always been using. All right, and we're going to change photographic to vivid. Quality, keep that on high. And that's pretty much it. Mirror, we're gonna have that checked, of course. And then we go ahead and press print. And when we press print, we wait for our confirmation to pop up to make sure that it did, send, in fact, send it to print, guys. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Adub Productions on Instagram, while we're waiting for this thing to pop up. And Facebook, Adub Productions on Facebook also, guys. All right, print has been successfully queued. Press OK. And then just click on Print Manager so that it's brought to the, to the front. 
and that way when print manager is ready and it pops up we can just go ahead and print all right this is interesting right here guys our first design all right look print manager is open and there's our design everything is set up perfectly polyester high quality text print r bypass tray selected our image is already mirrored that's it guys let's look around look at this and the drop down sg1000 is selected everything is good only thing that needs to change if you're doing like a job for a bunch of clients like if you have a bunch of orders you go to jobs right here and right now it's printing out one copy you can change this to 10 copies, 20 copies, 30 copies, however much paper that you have in there, how many, however many that you'd like to print out. That's how what you would change it to. All right, but we're just doing one for right now. So we're just going to go ahead and press print and wait for the SG-1000 to recognize it and start doing this thing. Let me come around and give you guys a um, printer shot so you guys can see this thing in action. All right. Let's re-angle, refocus the camera right here on the SG-1. See how long this takes to get going in real time with no cuts. Now if I'd have had the, oh, there it is. Now if I'd have had the, um, the cable, USB cable connected straight to the computer, it would have went faster than that. But that's not long at all. That's not long at all. See, I have the paper facing forward in the bypass tray, whereas though if it was loaded in the bottom tray, which this paper right here can't fit in the bottom tray, then I would have it facing backwards, all right? So it's printing out right now on the SG-1. Love this thing so far. Very, very first print. Printing out great. You see the text right there peeking out. Looking good, cooking on gasoline, cooking on a gasoline. Oh, uh, guys, um, don't forget on your favorite streaming platforms, go search A Dub Rocking with the Best, your favorite YouTuber, A Dub Rocking with the Best. Put me on repeat on your favorite streaming platforms iTunes, Spotify, Amazon. Google, I mean, whatever, Google, whatever you listen to your music on, A-Dub rocking with the best. Put me on your, uh, on your favorite playlist, R&B music. Let me know what you think in the comments down below when you come back. All right, see our print right there. Looking good, looking dark, looking distinct. This looks real good, guys. Even got the initial down there, down below, like I had on the screen. This looks real good. Guess what it's time to do, y'all? It's time to press this thing, guys. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. So now that our heat press is heated up, pretty much heated up. We got one more degree to go. I'm going to put my butcher paper in between the shirt so that when I press it, the sublimation colors don't transfer onto the back side of the shirt. A lot of people ask me, uh, why do I do that? That's the reason why sublimation the inks will transfer not all the time because I've seen people press without it but better safe than sorry when you're making when you're making stuff all right I am very very excited this is the first time I'm pressing uh, anything that comes from the 16 um, the 13 and a half by 19 the SG 1000 all right so we got our butcher paper on here all right I'm gonna pull it down a little bit, just a little bit to make sure. And I'll tap the camera a little bit. Guys, excuse me for that, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna straighten out. All right. Straighten out our collar right there. And now we're gonna lay our design on the shirt. This thing is so huge. You literally have to use your entire, your entire, um, platen for this and I do have to pull this down a little bit because if it's going to go four fingers down from the collar then you literally have to use your entire platen guys this is still alright that's good enough alright so I'm just looking at it lining it up alright you literally have to use your this is 
incredible, guys. It's that big. It is that big. Wow. Alright, so I have this thing, if you guys can see, I have this thing on my entire platen. 13 by 19 takes up the entire platen, guys. Alright, so we're just going to put the, some butcher paper on the top, and we're going to go ahead and press it. Alright, let's go ahead and press it. 400, I got mine at 60 second press. Um, I had it actually like 66. Sometimes I do 400, 70 seconds. I never really do 60 seconds. It always, to me, it comes out a little bit better if you do like 65 or even 70 seconds. 70 seconds is a little bit too long, if you ask me, um, from my experience. Um, I, when I first started doing sublimation, it seemed like the 60 seconds was just a little bit, seemed like with a little bit more time, the colors pop a little bit more to me. But you want to be careful because you don't want to burn your shirt. All right. So, um, yeah, 400 degrees. And as you can see, it's at 390, 393. A little bit cooler. But for the most part, 400 degrees for 60 seconds or 66 seconds in my case. And you get the best results. If you're not getting a good transfer, then try a couple seconds more. All right. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, pop. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got, guys. Pull this out. You guys ready to see this? Our first transfer with our Sawgrass SG-1000. Drum rolls, please. Drum rolls, please. Oh, that's looking real good. No difference between this and the 500 to me. Guys, that's the one right there. That's looking real good. Real close look at it right there. And you guys know I get really good results on an SG500. And it looks like these are pretty much the same results on the SG1000. Uh, yeah, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me put the shirt on. Why don't I? Newest item on AllenAway.com. Double-sided thread organizers. AllenAway.com. Pick up your double-sided thread organizer today to help keep your workspace clean like you see me use in the video thank you so much for your support man so large there you have it folks there's no denying absolutely no denying that this thing came out huge on the front of this extra large shirt using my sawgrass sg 1000 i'm absolutely in love with this thing um I gave you guys plenty of time. Some people went ahead and purchased it. I saw it on the back end that some people were going ahead and purchasing their 1000 machines when I was telling you guys to get the 500. But you got to understand there's levels to this. You guys have been watching me. You guys are following me. And you guys saw that I'm moving in levels. And I don't expect anybody to be any different, right? I went from the Silhouette Cameo, then I got the Silhouette Cameo Plus, then the Silhouette Cameo Pro, then, you know, then we got the uh, small uh, embroidery machine, then we, you know, made some money with that, then we moved up to the big embroidery machine, start off with the SG500, SG1000, levels, guys, it's levels, you know, start off with my cheap Chinese heat press, then work my way up to the slide-out drawer, then got the slide-out drawer with the auto-open, then got the bigger one with the slide-out drawer and the auto-open, guys, it's levels. I don't expect you guys to move, like just take these giant leaps, but hey, some of you guys did. And this is, this is, this is where, where it sat right here. So when, you're, when you have your 500, right, and you made your money, make sure you're sitting some money aside because this is the next level. You wanna be able to print these larger prints onto shirts to offer people better quality, better quality, larger designs, bigger is better. You know what I mean? You got newer equipment and look, look what, I mean, look how big this is. Look, 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 look how much real estate this is taken up, right? On the, on the front of the shirt. This is huge. These sheets of paper are huge. So just imagine if this was like a full print, a full color print. This is just text on a shirt. Imagine if it was full color print. It'll be unbelievable guys. But here you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. I am excited about this thing. 
And you know, as usual, my wheels are starting to turn and stuff like that. And I'm starting to get different ideas. But guys, stay tuned. We still got the renovation going on. You guys have been seeing um, in the stories on um, on YouTube and on Instagram of the renovation and stuff like that. And guys, later on today, I will be doing another giveaway because we had the second hundred dollar gift card, and we're gonna give that away today, guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I'm gonna raffle it off again. All right, um, for everybody's name, that's in a raffle, so uh, stay tuned for that. I don't think anybody bought any hats. Um, no, nobody bought a hat, so no new entries as far as the hats are concerned. But I'm going to throw one more person, one more person's name in because the other person name, that won, their name was out. And we're going to do a different verification method today because we almost got scammed last time. Um, I'm going to post a whole video about that, so you guys stay tuned for that. Somebody almost stole a hundred dollar gift card. Uh, some serious scammers out here. But guys, let me know what you guys think about the shirt. Let me know what you guys think about the print. Let me know. I mean, this is this is vibrant, right? It's vibrant. Um, it's very, very dark. And it came out good. So the next step, guys, we're still not done with the surgery. The next step is to use 100 percent polyester, the thick, thick polyester fabric to sell at the fabric store and make our own shirts because we don't like the, we don't really like the thicknesses of this shirt. We like it, but we don't, you know, it's not ideal. We want higher quality stuff. So I don't know. The next best thing is to make our own shirts. That's what I, that's what I figured out. That's what I think, you know, but I got to be honest with you guys. Remember when we first started with SG 500 and I said, this is the quality type of shirt that you want. And you want to like the silky, silky athletic kind I'm slowly starting to like the athletic kind better. I don't know why, but when I was away on vacation at uh, Universal Studios, I wore the silky kind of shirt, the one that I made with the split design on it with the, with the um, lady with glasses. I wore that shirt and it actually feels better and it looks better also. And it's more like wrinkle resistant. I actually like that kind of shirt better so it's the Gildan G460 this is the Gildan G420 I think that's other this other one is Gildan G460 am I saying it backwards but you guys saw the video when I compared the two but anyway guys I'm gonna wrap this up thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already and tune in for more content like this talk to you guys later on today all right later on today for the giveaway all right peace it's your boy Alan Wade peace turn up that it up while I listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best baby.